So you're thinking about moving to Falls Church, Virginia? Well, in this video, we're gonna take you around Falls Church, show you some different neighborhoods, different homes, and different price points so you can see what may fit into your budget. Be sure to stick around until the very last house. We've got a little surprise for you there and you're definitely not gonna wanna miss it. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know about the current market in Northern Virginia. My name is Amanda and the team and I get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and we absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email and we'll be happy to help you make a smooth move to Northern Virginia. So as I was saying, we're checking out Falls Church, Virginia today. Right now, we are in downtown Falls Church, which is Falls Church City. And we are coming past the original Falls Church that Falls Church is named after. It goes all the way back to the 1700s. And while the church was at the time a Church of England, it's now an Episcopal church, but it does still exist. And it's how Falls Church got its name. We're gonna be taking you around different parts of Falls Church, showing you the area. So much to offer here, close proximity to commuter routes. You've got great restaurants, uh, 2941, Trio Grill, Sweetwater Tavern, Claire and Don's, no shortage of dining here whatsoever. And as far as other daily needs, anything you could possibly need is within five, maybe 10 minutes. If you like to golf, there is Jefferson District Park and Golf Course. They also have mini golf, if that's more your style. And Mosaic District is also nearby Falls Church. It's in Maryfield, only a couple miles from here. You've got Target, tons of other dining options, shopping. And they've also got a nice outdoor space if you just wanna go somewhere to spend the afternoon and hang out that would definitely be a good option. Over 14,000 people call Falls Church home. Median income is about 127,000 and median home value is about 789,000. So what we're gonna do right now is head over to these different properties, give you an idea of what real estate's like in this area, and we're gonna get after it right now. We are at our first property in Falls Church and we are in Falls Church City. And I point that out because Falls Church is in Fairfax County, but there is also Falls Church City and they have their own mayor, police department, tax administration. So when you're looking for properties in Falls Church, you wanna determine whether or not you wanna be in Falls Church City or if you wanna be in uh, Fairfax County. All will have a Falls Church address. This first property that we're at is behind me you can see we're in the center of everything and it's spectrum condo behind me there's a one bedroom one and a half bath that's for sale for 429.9 spectrum was built in 2008 and you are as about as walkable as it gets you can walk to metro you can walk to shopping dining great great location it also sells with garage parking and this building has a fabulous rooftop deck with just incredible views of the city. It's also got a fitness center, a concierge. All of your utilities, including internet and cable are included in the condo fee. The only thing that is not is the electricity. We are in the Lakeford neighborhood now in Falls Church, built in the 80s. This particular house that we're coming up on was built in 1984. Townhouse, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, and it's priced at $679.9. The Lakeford community is also in a great location. You're only about a mile to Mosaic District. You're still close to Tyson's Corner, 495, 66, your major commuter routes. And this particular neighborhood has a lake, which we'll show you shortly. It has a very reasonable HOA fee for the area. It's paid quarterly. You don't get a lot of amenities with it, but you do get tennis courts, 
the lake and walking trails. So it's kind of a perk to be in this neighborhood if you're looking for something that doesn't have a high HOA. We'll do what we normally do. We'll drive you around a little bit, show you the neighborhood, and then we'll stop by the lake before we head to our next stop. All right, we're coming up here on the lake that you have access to be able to walk around and enjoy when you live in the Lakeford community. I'm gonna swing around here and you'll get a good view of it behind me. It's only, it's not even a five minute walk from where we just were at the townhouse. You just cross over Fairview Parkway and then you're right here and you can enjoy your nice walk. Something else to point out, the building directly behind me is home to 2941 Restaurant. Very fancy, but fabulous food if you're looking for a really nice meal out. We are at our last stop in Falls Church. We are in the Pimmet Hills neighborhood. In this neighborhood, you'll notice as we do the drive around that there are older homes and then there are brand new, much larger homes. And this neighborhood was actually subdivided in the 1950s, but it slowly over the past probably five to six years has really started to see a lot of teardowns come about. And you'll see behind me this home that we're getting ready to talk about is brand new construction, over 7,000 square feet, six bedrooms, six bathrooms, and it's on a large enough lot that you still have space for a deck and an actual backyard, which is not always easy to come by in this area. Great location, you're minutes to Tyson's Corner, and the Pimmet Hills neighborhood is actually sort of a triangle in terms of 66, 495, and 267, where they all run together. So commuting is just a dream from this location. Even if you're going into DC or Arlington, it's not a bad commute and Tyson certainly is not a bad commute. You're also not far from the Silver Line. If you need access to Metro, that's accessible as well. You're not even five minutes from shopping, tons of dining options. So prime location here in Pimmet Hills and we'll drive you around a little bit like we normally do. But before that, we've got a little surprise for you. So I mentioned if you stuck around until the last house had a little surprise for you. And here we are, we get to come inside this one. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because it's over 7,000 square feet, but I did wanna come in and show you all the gorgeous main level in this house. The floors are just incredible. And then walk in here to this main living area. I'm gonna turn around. Is that kitchen not just to die for? I mean, it is absolutely stunning. And this house is in such a great location. It is definitely not going to last very long on the market. You've got some really pretty barn doors back here. Just stunning. The builder on this house is actually going to put a deck on out back before this one goes to closing. So you could potentially be in this house within 60 to 90 days from going under contract, which is great for new construction, just minutes from Tyson's Corner too. We're at our last stop in Falls Church. We are here at the iconic State Theater. It's been providing entertainment in the DC area for over 90 years. Great place to come for a comedy night, catch a show. Um, they've got a lot of great cover bands, like Warmers being one of them. I might see you there if you go that night. And we're only about not even half a mile from Spectrum Condo, just to give you all an idea of how close everything is in downtown Falls Church City. Really walkable down here, charming area, great place to call home and convenient to commuter routes as well. There's not a lot of big employers in Falls Church City, but it is a great place to live and nearby all of the main employers in the area, including if you're heading into DC. As always, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, 
We'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to Falls Church or the Northern Virginia area. And until next time, we hope to show you around town.